for, for parents out there who, who are, who've maybe gotten a diagnosis that has floored them, you want answers, you want assurance that your child's gonna be okay. And the POPs department will make sure that it, that it's, that it happens, okay? And they will do it with the expert care. Lily was born with fibular hemimelia. We had a difficult decision to make. You can attempt to repair, which is many surgeries over her entire childhood, or you can do an amputation. We decided that the best option for her was to do a Symes amputation. And so when she was seven months old, she had that procedure done. So when I was five years old, probably, I realized that it's not normal for a kid to have a prosthetic leg. Like None of my friends had it, and I was the only one. It took me that long to realize that because I never was made to feel different. My hospital never made me feel different. My family never made me feel different. My hospital has always made sure that I had the exact prosthesis I needed to go about my everyday life and to function as a normal kid. So over the years, I had legs that looked normal, what I wanted, kind of blended a little bit more, didn't want to answer questions. And then I had legs that were for swimming or going to water parks that I could get wet. So Pops has always got out of their way to make sure that I can be a kid. It's always you can and you will, and let's help you get there. Our team of board certified orthotists and prosthetists create custom fabricated artificial limbs and braces for children, adolescents, and young adults. We have more than a 90 year history of creating custom designed orthotic and prosthetic devices for these patients with mobility issues and limb deficiencies. Orthoses are custom devices that can be as simple as an insert worn inside your child's shoe to a full leg brace or other similar device. The type of orthotic your child needs and how they will wear it will depend on your child's orthopedic condition and developmental ability. Because children grow rapidly, orthotics may need to be replaced as often as twice a year. The first thing my doctor said to me was, would you rather have a curved spine and be flexible or have a straight spine? and never be flexible. If I wanted to have that flexible spine, I would have to wear a back brace 23 hours a day, seven days a week. It was something that I knew I had to go through um, in order to be normal and to be like everybody else because I didn't want to have to leave school for this surgery. All the doctors and the nurses at Shriners Hospital made me feel welcomed and like I was a normal kid because they knew that I could be normal with everything that I was doing. Using our Borum Computer Assisted Design Program, we are able to either scan our patients in real time or scan a fiberglass cast taken during the assessment. The most noticeable benefit is for our patients with scoliosis. The ability to scan allows us to capture a detailed image of the patient without any hands-on contact. The majority of our scoliosis patients are young females, like Corey, and the scanning process makes it less awkward for that patient population. I remember whenever I first got fitted for my TLSO, walking in to the POPs department, thinking about how awkward it was going to be getting fitted for my brace, but they made it to where it wasn't awkward and I wasn't scared at all. Having had several appointments in the POPs department, they always made us feel at home. They're like our second family now. About one quarter to one half of children and teens diagnosed with scoliosis end up having to undergo surgery because they are not compliant with wearing the TLSO. This wasn't the case with Corey, and she has experienced a very successful outcome. I'm out of my brace today, but I'm still coming back for yearly checkups. I'm excited to see what my future holds. The biggest concern for me um, with Lily having a prosthetic leg was, what are her limitations going to be? What, it, what is she going to be missing out on? None of those fears have been realized. Pops has made it so that Lily hasn't missed out on anything at all. Pops makes it possible for kids like Lily and Corey to live life without limitations and not hinder their ability to do any activity and grow into the young adults they want to become. I've never once uh, been held back from something I wanted to do because I have a prosthetic leg. Recently, I actually got a new prosthetic leg, um, which has a more curved ankle that allows my ankle to bend as I move. So that's great for being able to run and go to the gym and just walk around campus. Um, and it's also my first leg that I've ever had that's bright and colorful. 
um, and very obvious to anyone who sees me. So it's allowed me to talk to more people about my prosthetic and really be a showcase of what Pops can do.